What's going on guys and girls in this video? I'm gonna be doing something kind of different This is gonna be my very first time reacting to e3 press conferences as you read from the title This is gonna be the Sony press conference So I'm just gonna kind of talk about what we saw what I really liked from the conference and Basically, that's gonna be it. I'll show you guys some of the bits from the conference um, On the screen as you can see right here. They started off with the last Guardian, which is pretty crazy but before I get into that, the first thing I want to do is I want to ask you guys a couple of questions. First of all, did you guys watch the E3 press conferences? Let me know in the comments. Um, second of all, if you did, what did you think of them? Did you Were you super excited by the, some of the announcements? Were Did you love the conferences? Did you hate the conferences? Uh, I'd really like your feedback, so let me know in the comments below. And so first of all, The Last Guardian. This is what they led with in Sony press conference, and this is insane. So if you don't understand the big deal about The Last Guardian, the thing is that it's been in development since 2007. It was formally announced in 2010 E3, and then there was just nothing about it. They Everyone kind of think, is it cancelled or whatever, and they all, Sony always said, no, it's still in development, and now we have an actual gameplay video from the E3 at 20, 2015? Yeah, we're in 2015. I almost forgot what date... What the date was um, so as you can see this is just truly incredible uh, these guys are the guys who made shadow of the colossus now I didn't play that game uh, it wasn't I wasn't a really big gamer back then I was still pretty young so I didn't really know about a lot of games and this just looks incredible you've got this giant bird dog thingy that you can um, it looks like you can kind of control through your your voice you just like you somehow are telling it to do things which looks amazing then you you are this little kid and you're running around and this just this just looks amazing i just can't wait to give this a go um they do announce it as a 2016 game release uh which is surprising since it's been it's been in development for so long you'd think that they would just uh announce it and then release it pretty soon after it looks kind of like it's going to be some sort of action adventure kind of puzzle solving game maybe not so much action but more of just an adventure exploration kind of uh, puzzle game uh, it looks very interesting as you can see this dog bird thingy is waiting for me on the other side and then all you have to do is you have to jump across and watch this watch this oh, this is so cool it just grabs him boom in mid -air. oh man that's so cool um so I'm going to link all the um, trailers that I show below and then I'll probably link the full press conferences if I can find them online. Um, so that in case you guys haven't seen them, you guys can check them out without me you know, talking over them. And because I'm not going to be able to show you guys all of the uh, videos and all of them, like the full length of the videos just because of um, just because of time. Um, I'm actually meant to be studying for an exam right now, so shh, don't tell anyone. So at the end of the trailer, they announce it as a 2016 game. Uh, so they give it a 2016 release window, but they don't give a specific date. After that, Gorilla Games takes the stage, and man, does this look sick. This is their new IP game uh, called Horizon Zero Dawn, and man, does this look epic. So the premise of this game they show in the trailer before this part of the gameplay is that this game is taking place in the future where... So for some reason the robots have taken over control and these are the tribal people that are now uh, living in this world with these robots after some sort of event that like ended our civilizations um, in the modern age and it looks like maybe because we created AI that then ended up turning on us and we had to go back to uh, becoming basically cavemen and so it's now it's like cavemen versus these robot things so you find seeing like robot dinosaurs how cool does this look oh my goodness I was so excited when I saw this um, there had been rumors about this but there would never really been anything like confirmed and then they just came out with this tra trailer It's like a trailer and then a gameplay trailer in, in succession so it looks like we play as a female protagonist uh, as you can see right here and now these dinosaurs robot dinosaur thingies I don't know what to call them um, look like they are creating some sort of resource that we are trying to collect for some reason um, this just looks so epic and amazing and I want to play it right now um, and then you can see they scared she scared these ones off and the big guy comes along and he is going to be angry and try and kill us and then we have to try and 
defend ourselves against him with a bow and arrow and this just looks so amazing it looks like there is a bit of destructible debris like environments as you can see there that rock just got completely destroyed by this guy and you got some duck and rolls and you got some sort of different arrows and it looks like we're not totally cavemen it looks like we've got some sort of like um technological uh system because as you can see the bow and arrow is not a caveman bow and arrow that is a very sophisticated looking bow and arrow and we are just wrecking this um dinosaur robot thingy now one of the cool things is she takes off this she electrocutes him and then she blows off this uh like part off the top of the dinosaur and then it just uses it against him just like starts wrecking the dinosaur with him and man it's just this just i oh, i just I got no words for this. This just looks so amazing. What do you guys think of this? Uh, this looks just so good. Um, to be honest, I just want to let you guys see the rest of this trailer. This is just so, so good. I just couldn't believe how how cool this looked. Um, just and then watch this. She's kind of tether the the robot to the ground with this kind of like a crossbow tether thing. Uh, this just oh man, this game just looks amazingly cool. Uh, so Gorilla Games, if you didn't know, are the guys who brought you Killzone. Apparently they made a game for that. Uh, I don't know the name of it. And then as you can see, look at this, she's going to just wreck him. And the dinosaur the robot thingy is going to fall on the ground. And she's going to spear it in the head to kill some sort of like power core or memory thing. Or I don't know what she's attacking, but it looks, it looks amazing. And then what happens with the trailer is it just goes to like the um, the title screen, and then it gives a 2016 release date. I mean, this just oh, just there's no words for this. This just looks too good. This is like one of the best looking games ever. It's got robots that are kind of like dinosaurs, and then it's futuristic, but then it's cavemanistic, and then it's like oh, I don't know what to say. And then we get the ti the title Horizon Zero Dawn, and then of course uh, there's a little bit more of a cutscene, and then it goes 2016 release date in the black. Um, you know what? I'll just I'll just let this one finish because that's just like oh, how cool does that look? And then of course 2016 release date. So after that, they had a trailer for Hitman, and then they had a trailer for Street Fighter. Um, those are games that I'm not personally interested in, so that's why I'm not really showing them. But if you guys are interested in them, feel free to check them out. They're actually really good trailers uh, if you're interested in the game. Interested in the game, but I, just personally, I'm not. And then they had a trailer uh, demonstration, gameplay demonstration for Hel uh, Hello Games uh, No Man's Sky. Now this game looks insane. I just there's just so much of this game that you just it's hard to imagine until you actually end up playing it or until he shows you some of these things like uh, that's just the scale of this game just blows you away so it's kind of like a space exploration game basically it's so massive that they say that some planets will never ever be discovered so what you can do is you can do this you this he's showing off the space battle system at the moment and then you can actually travel to planets land on planets explore the planets and that is just insane so i'm gonna let him explain this part because he does it so well like this so this is the solar system that we're currently at that's where that battle is taking place but battles like that are taking place across the universe if I pull back a little bit, you could see the other stars nearby that I can reach with my current hyperdrive. And I'm going to pull back a little bit more to give you a sense of the size of the game. But when I do, I really need you to keep in mind to understand that every one of these points of light is a sun. And every one of those suns has its own solar system with planet-sized planets orbiting around it. Those have life, ecology. Now when he did this, I was just like, oh my god, no way. And then what he does is he speeds it up, he goes even faster out, and it's just like, oh, this game is just massive. How, did, how are they making this game? This is just like unbelievable sort of scale. So every point, every bit of dot of light you're seeing there is a sun that has a solar system and each solar system has planets that you can land on and explore which have life on them and it's i guess some some of them might not have life the whole thing is this whole thing is random not even he has actually created this it's all procedurally generated so that's how they can get away with doing this so they don't actually have to create this large universe they just have to um write some code and it just creates itself 
basically. And so what he does here is he goes to a planet that he has never been to before. He's literally just going, okay, we're going to pick this one at random. They warp to that uh, area and then literally he's just there and just looking around this new solar system that he's never been to, uh, that's never been seen before except for the computer that created, created it. And so then what he scans and then he just goes and lands on the planet. And I mean, this game just looks insane. The first time I saw it, I was just like, wow, that looks so cool. And the fact that you could just fly around and land on a planet and then just take off and you go from in atmosphere to like space. And it's just, oh, I just can't believe it. Watch this. He's going from space and he's going into the atmosphere. And so that he's going to land on the planet. I mean, this game just is incredibly large. Oh man, this video is taking longer than I thought. I should be studying, guys. Ah! Um, so just, oh man, just look at this. And then he gets out and he can walk around. And then things are destructible. And this game is just incredible. Um, so after that, uh, we had Media Molecule came to the stage. These guys are absolutely insane. These guys are the creators of Little Big Planet and Tearaway. Um, I loved Little Big Planet 1 and 2. I played Tearaway. I kind of liked it. I didn't really fall in love with it, but I thought it was pretty cool. And But then this game is just like, what the hell are they doing? Is it a game? Is it something else? I don't know. It's some sort of dream game where you can create your own thing. You can set it up so that you can create your own animation. So it's kind of... this outrageously weird thing that I have no understanding of what you really would be doing in this game. Is it a game or is it just a creation tool? I don't know. I honestly don't know guys. Um, so this is like the trailer that they showed and I'm just like I don't know what's going on here. Um, then after Media Molecule they had this game called Firewatch that they uh, released uh, trailer for. This game looks pretty pretty cool. I, I don't really know what to think about it yet. Um, the story sounds interesting. I don't know what the gameplay is going to be like or anything like that. They don't give you uh, much to go on in the trailer, just kind of like a story uh, trailer, which looks really quite interesting. It seems like you're some sort of fire guy watching over a forest, maybe protecting it from like wildfires or whatever. Um, I don't know. But it seems to have uh, quite a bit of humor in it, which uh, is always a good thing. I quite like it. And then it's, there seems to be some sort of uh, mystery to the world, which uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, so it's kind of got all these elements that are like, I'm, I'm interested. I want to play this. I don't know what it's going to be like, but I want to play this. Um, and then after Firewatch, what happened is they had um, Aiden Boys came out and he had a trailer for Destiny, which looks interesting, but it's not really my thing after playing Destiny. It's just kind of... All the trailers always look good, but I just, without uh, six people that, you know, five other people that I can really, you know, get uh, synced into with this game, I just can't get back into it just because of the fact that uh, without, if you don't have like five other people that, you know, you go, you play like at least once a week, it's really hard to get back into this game. And then what they did is they talked about Assassin's Creed and they showed uh, a trailer for that. Also another game that I'm not too interested in, uh, but I know a lot of people are. It always sells millions of copies. Um, so if you're interested in, in it, let me know. Um, and then what happened is Adam Boys had this kind of like mic drop moment when they show a trailer for uh, Final, Fantasy Se Final Fantasy VII, a full-on remake of the original. Um, this is a game that I've never played. Uh, I know that it is a massive game in terms of video game history. History. I know that it is beloved by everyone and so many people think it's like in the top um, top games of all time and so I'm excited to give it a go like give a remake a go because it's something that I've never I never played so it would be great to just understand why everyone thinks this game is so great in fact I've actually never played a Final Fantasy game uh, ever so this trailer it just kind of like shows you it's kind of like this build up of like the heroes will be returning and all this sort of stuff and then right at the end you know like just before he announced it like they should start showing the trailer uh, the crowd starts going wild and then right at the end of the trailer when they show like uh, the characters and then they show like remake uh, the crowd just goes absolutely nuts um, so it's a real exciting thing um, I'm excited to give it a go uh, hopefully, I don't know when, I don't think they showed a release date. I know that it's coming to PS4 and because it's a Sony conference, of course it's coming to PS4. And uh, yeah, so here we go. We got the um, uh, the characters coming into frame, showing us the giant sword and the iconic kind of hair style. And then you can kind of hear the crowd go crazy once the logo shows and then it's like remake. And there's the crowd just goes absolutely nuts. 
So then they had a couple of other things that I'm just going to skip over really quickly because I want to get to the big thing at the end, uh, Uncharted 4. Um, so they had a, bu a bunch of montage of little thing, uh, little games. Then they had this random game that I've never heard of, but apparently everyone was crazy about. And it was a Kickstarter, and I was just like, what? It's a Kickstarter? Why? Wait, what? It's on Sony's press conference thing, and it's like, we're not funding it, but you guys can. Here's a Kickstarter announcement. I'm just like, what? And so... Um, then what happened is they had, what was next, the, um, the, uh, what's called Battlefield, not Battlefield, Call of Duty, that's what it was, they had, um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, uh, announced, like, uh, on PlayStation, and they're gonna get the exclusive PlayStation, uh, stuff, uh, it's not something I'm interested in, but I know, you know, it's a big game, everyone's, that's pretty crazy that they got that off Microsoft, that, you know, they're now showing it off at, uh, the, e th the Sony E3 press conference instead of the Microsoft one and the fact that the map content is going to come to PlayStation first instead of Xbox first which is pretty insane to think that that's going to be taken away from Microsoft. Um, then they had they also had some Batman Arkham Knight stuff that was really cool um, that's coming out next week so there's not much really to talk about it we've seen a lot of Batman already and then they had a small um, Star Wars trailer that I would really like to kind of show you guys, but um, when, when I was recording this uh, this footage, um, I tried to upload some trailers and the Star Wars one got blocked by, you know, copyright stuff. And so I'm like, oh, I don't really want to put this in my video in case, in case you know, they, they block it. And I, I'm, I don't know, maybe I got a copyright strike. I don't know, guys. Uh, so I don't really want to uh, do that. So if you guys want to see that, obviously I'm gonna I'll link it in the description if you guys want to see the trailer. It was kind of like the cop one. It wasn't as cool as the the one they showed during the E it was EA's conference. The whole multiplayer one that was just epic. Um, and then of course right at the end they have Uncharted 4. Now this is one of those games that need no introduction, but I'm going to give it one anyway. This game looks amazing! Okay, so Uncharted 4 is the fourth installment in the Uncharted series, of course, because it's, and it's called Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Um, so there's quite a bit of like, oh, is Nate going to die in this? Is this going to be the end of Nate? It's, it wouldn't really fit the tone of the Uncharted series, but, you know, who knows. And as you can see, there's Sullivan. Oh, man, and there's Nathan Drake. Oh, they all look so beautiful beautiful in HD on the PlayStation 4. Um, so during this um, like demo, the the first time they tried to do it, it actually crashed and they had to kind of start again. Well, it didn't actually crash, the game broke. So what happened is Nathan, they had the sequence here, then Nathan Drake just kind of stood there uh, when he was meant to move around at right about here and instead of moving around he just stood there and so what they did do is they had to actually restart the game so that proves that this was a live demo than playing it at uh, E3 and as you can see look how much detail this game has look at all the people look at all the environments I mean this game always Uncharted games always look beautiful and they always have this kind of amazing detail uh, to them but this one just has that extra bit because just look at how many NPCs are on the screen and then look at the combat this just oh man and there's so much more destructible objects it seems like in the in the um, in the game so as you can see this table is actually just going to get completely obliterated by this uh, by that explosion or the grenade and so it just makes this game just look so much better. I mean, I'm just so, so excited for this game. Are you guys excited for this game? Let me know because, oh man, I remember playing the... I never actually played an Uncharted game until the start of last year. And I went through the first three of them uh, basically within a month. And I was just like, man, these games are so good. Um, and so, you, you look, just look at all of the destructible things. Everything's just being destroyed. That tank, car thingy, truck just smashed through that uh, house. I don't know if that would be um, kind of uh, indicative of where you are. So if you just were staying at that side of the um, thing, that truck wouldn't move a lot or whether or not that truck would always like come across and, and back and just smash into stuff. I mean, it just looks so good. And then you can see all the stuff's being blown up as they shoot at you. And the truck's gonna come bashing through here. Oh my goodness, look at that, all this destruction. Oh man, this game just looks so good. And then up here, you've got the, uh, he kicks him into the wall, that breaks, and then he's gonna do this awesome thing where he's gonna take down this guy and grab his gun from mid-air. I mean, they showed that in the, when was it? Was it last E3 or was it game? 
when they showed the last demo, I oh, was it weird. Is it PlayStation Experience. At the PlayStation Experience, they showed a demo, and he was using the grappling hook, and he swung around, and he did the same, did the same thing. So it looks like that's definitely going to be in the game because that just looks so fun to do. Um, and I don't really have a lot else to talk about this. It's just so good. Uh, I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't checked it out, the full trailer without uh, me talking over it. Then there's also uh, the um, incredible uh, dialogue between Sully and uh, Nathan Drake. Uh, just the, the banter and all that. And look at this, jump into the car so we can go! Um, when I saw this and the driving along, I was just like, Need for Speed Uncharted Edition! And it, it looks... A lot of people have been talking about it and saying it looks a lot more open world. Oh, sorry about that. It looks a lot more open world than the the old game. So it looks like you have a lot more of a choice of how to get from A to B. Especially in this because you can see there's all these multiple routes you could take. Uh, and this truck comes barging through and then he starts shooting at you. Do you have to go across here and you or otherwise you would die? Or is this just a route that you could take and then you could go this way or that way? Or just whatever. Um, and look, look, you're just destroying all this stuff as you're driving through it. I mean it looks so good. And then watch this, bang, oh man. Um, so yeah, it's kind of interesting to see how much more open world kind of, it's definitely not an open world because it's definitely going to be um, a straight linear story just like the other ones. So there's going to be places, you know, different levels and chapters and all that. I would, I wouldn't, I would assume. But then it's like, this just looks, looks like they're giving you a lot more choice to the game. And just look at this, look at all the destruction. Oh my goodness. It's kind of like something that's come into um, a lot of games recently is like destruction. That's kind of like a bit of like the next gen sort of feel is how much things can you destroy in your game. Uh, things like Rainbow Six Siege and uh, Battlefield and stuff like that all have this destruction, destructibility in their games. And then we're going to drive down here and you're going to lose the truck for a little bit. And I don't really know what else to say about this game. This this just looks so good. This was the end of the PlayStation uh, E3 conference. And so that's all I'm really going to talk about for this. I'm just going to let this uh, continue on for the rest of the video. Uh, so you guys can keep watching it if you want to watch it from here. And so that's all I'm really going to say. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the E3 uh, conference. And man it was just all of the e3 conferences now this get this video is actually taking me a lot longer than expected i'm trying to study for an exam so i don't know whether or not i'll get the microsoft one out very soon or if it might be a quite a bit later uh or if i even get one out at all this just has taken me so much longer than expected uh it's been taking a lot longer than what you might think in this uh video uh, I haven't done this in one take, it's been like quite a few takes for me to do this and so uh, I've just been like adding things and all that sort of stuff, just adding more and more to this video and it's just like, oh my goodness, it's taken so long. And so i got to study for my exam, so thank you guys for watching, now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and let me know whether or not you guys liked the conferences. Okay, for real, bye this time. Hold on. What do you think I've been doing? Crap, crap, crap! 